CTV emergency today, a man riding on a Lauder Hill street crashing into a fire rescue truck. Paramedics jumping out to render aid that victim and father critically injured today. There is a picture of the victim there. Let's go to Victor Kendall live now with Fort Lauderdale with an update for us tonight. Victor. Calvin, this man is still recovering here in the hospital. After surgery, his family tells us that he is now in the intensive care unit after crashing a small ATV into a Broward Sheriff fire rescue vehicle. Wedged underneath this Broward Sheriff fire rescue vehicle, a mangled ATV. Man, it was horrible, man. I, I, I Tears came to my eyes when I seen it at first. Dina Donaldson Bay saw the collision on her drive home. The truck was headed east on Northwest 26th Street in Lauder Hill Wednesday when a spokesperson says a 31-year-old man on that ATV seemingly came out of nowhere. He had to see them. <laughs> He had to see them. It, it was no way he, he couldn't have seen them. The crew was responding to a call for a small child when they crashed. We had three firefighter paramedics on that unit. Uh, all of them immediately uh, began rendering aid to the male on the ATV. That man identified to us by family as 31 year old Jerron Pratt. His brother tells us that ATV belongs to his son, who's five years old. He was rushed to the hospital in critical condition. They have him in surgery. He does need to be operated on because he has uh, internal damage. As of that, that's all the news that we have right now. The investigation is underway to determine how this happened. A witness said the rescue vehicle had its lights and siren on. You have to be careful. This is a busy intersection. Again, at last check, he is out of surgery and in the ICU. That ATV, on top of being very small, it belonged to his five-year-old son, it is not street legal. In Fort Lauderdale, I'm Victor Okendo, Local 10 News.